So Julian, just tell us about this exhibit here at the Leica Gallery. It's based on a trip that I took to the uh, South China Sea. It was a boat trip and we stopped in Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei, Kuching, uh, I'm sure there's a few others in there. Um, but it was my first time ever in those, those that area of the world. Now, I didn't actually know what I was going to put together, what the exhibition was going to be about. So I was a bit crazy and overshot and took about 4,000 pictures. And I, I literally have spent... How many months, day and night, day and night, editing that down to about 50 images. The title is Cycle. Uh, it came from from observing people uh, living in Vietnam going to and from work uh, on their scooters, wearing the most insane clothing and outfits I've ever seen. It was only due to the editing process that I sort of decided to take it and make it the sort of cycle of life in the South China Seas. How did photography become such an integral part of your life and you, that you realised that you had a talent for it? Um, I, well, I, I didn't, well, I didn't, well, you know, I, that came about due to, um, due to a dear friend of mine who I worked with before, uh, uh, a photographer called, great uh, photographer called uh, Timothy White, and he... Uh, he was doing some some uh, shots of a charity project we were working on, and I edited them for him. And uh, he was quite surprised that I did that. Mm. And uh, he said, D -d "Do you know what you do? You know how? How do you know what you're doing?" I said, "I don't. I'm just mm. trying playing." Um, he said, "Do you have other pictures?" So I said, "Yeah." So. He said, well, you should do an exhibition. And I said, you've got to be joking. And uh, I said, OK, if you help me mentor it. So we spent a year editing pictures down and finally had a, my first exhibition uh, at uh, the Morrison Hotel Gallery in New York. Uh, you know, I was more petrified than you can imagine because I thought, you know, this is you know, uh, uh, another musician going down another artistic avenue and uh, probably get crucified again. But it was completely the opposite of that. And now I've literally become addicted to it. I cannot stop myself. I mean, I'm a bit of a loony in that respect. I cannot stop it.